Good morning. <clears throat> Happy Tuesday. Happy TMJ Tip Tuesday to you. Today we're going to be talking about the main thing doctors miss when dealing with jaw issues. So let's get into it. My name is Andrea Orm. If you are new around here, welcome. I am a music teacher for pre-K through 12th graders and I work with new music teachers and teachers who just want to figure out how to um, have different options when it comes to teaching and not feel like they're stuck in their public school job um, or they're feeling like they just need more options. So I teach freelance myself. So I'm happy to mentor and walk people through that experience as well. But you're probably wondering, wait a second, <clears throat> why is a music teacher talking about jaw issues? Why do you have this thing called TMJ Tip Tuesdays um, if you are a music teacher? Well, and the answer to that is that I dealt with significant jaw issues, daily jaw pain, for a little over five years. And it started when I was in college and went to a little bit afterwards when I was first starting teaching. And it was a significant factor in my ability to sing and to do my job or to do the job I was hoping to have. And I had to had to very, very seriously consider not doing this job, not being a music teacher because of the toll it would potentially take on my body to be in chronic pain every day, be, partly because of the job that I had. So it's, it's a big deal to me because I know there are other music teachers who go through this. I know there are other musicians who deal with this. And so I talk about it once a week. And I spread awareness on some of the options that people have because I didn't feel like I had options um, when it came to the jaw issues I was dealing with. Because for those of you who aren't aware, when you're dealing with jaw issues, dent they like try and say, oh, the medical people say, oh, it's a dental issue. But then the dental, you go to dental people and they're like, no, it's a medical issue. And so it's even a problem with insurance because they're like, oh, well, medical says it's dental, then dental should pay for it. Oh, well, dental says it's medical, medical should pay for it. So then nobody wants to help insure, you know, cover it, right? Which is also a problem, right? There's so many problems with this whole rigmarole, but nobody's taking responsibility for, for learning about and making a change for this specific issue, right? <clears throat> so that's partly why I talk about it too, because there are so many people caught in that limbo, that mess of I'm not covered and I don't know who to even go to unless they're a super specialist, but the super specialists are super expensive because of our medical system. Um, and so if you're at least going through the medical system the way it's designed, which don't get me started on that soapbox, we can talk about that another day. But here is the main thing, before I get off too, too off, off the beaten path, the main thing that doctors miss when dealing with jaw issues is that it's a one size does not fit all. And this is the case actually for a lot more health issues than people realize. But in this case, it's true. because Very true. Because I ultimately, you know, I went to, you know, dental and medical and I was like, Neither of them really were like wanting to help me and really wanting to take, you know, some sort of responsibility for helping with the actual concern, right? And so ultimately I was like, well, I'm going to go out on my own and figure out what some of this could mean because I don't like the sound of surgery. So I'm going to try alternative options until I either find something or end up having to go back and do the surgery thing anyway. But that's a, a risk I am not willing to take yet before exploring other options. So that's what I did. I explored lots and lots of other options. It took time. It took persistence. It took a lot of tracking on my part to figure out, okay, what am I doing right now? How long? You know, taking three months to figure out, okay, that specific thing I'm doing doesn't help. Okay, moving on to the next things, right? Until I started to hit things that would actually help. Because as I dug deeper, I learned more about the underlying factors that can cause issues with joints and with the jaw in specific. 
And these were things that none of the medical or dental people told me. I'm like, why are the professionals not telling me these things? Like, oh, this could be a factor. We don't know if it is for you, but this could be <clears throat> a thing. Or this thing over here, that could be a factor. We don't know if it is for you, but you could look into it, right? Or at least we will look into it with you, right? Why don't, why don't people do that? Well, bless their hearts, I'm sure they're not trying to be that way, but they're only trained in a certain way, right? In our medical system, most medical people are not trained to look for underlying causes and address the person as a holistic human being with lots of factors that influence each other, right? They aren't trained to look at the body as a whole unit. They're trained to look at compartmentalize things and look at a tar target one thing and either do surgery or fix one thing, right? So they're not trained to look at the whole body as a big picture. They're trained in complex surgeries of one specific, you know, one specific body part or one specific area. So of course they're going to recommend things that they are trained in. So I have to, I can't like, you know, I can't get super mad at them or something because they, I'm just, they weren't trained in the, the things that I needed to know. And I had yet to find somebody who was trained in the things that I needed to know. So I went and dug myself. And that's where the TMJ Strong course kind of came from, right? So if you check out my website, I guess I forgot to put a link in here. Sorry. If you check out my website, andreaorum.com, you can go up to courses and look at the TMJ Strong course. That course is my solution to this problem, this main thing that doctors miss problem, because that's all of the information that I learned when I was dealing with this problem myself. I looked and I went, oh, I learned that this could be an impacting factor because it was for me, right? Or, oh, I learned this could be an impacting factor because it was for me. Oh, I learned this is an impacting factor. It wasn't for me, but I learned that and I could hopefully help someone else through that, right? So that's why I made the course because so many people, I was talking about this issue because I, so many people deal with this and I want to make, bring awareness to the fact that you're not alone and there are solutions, right? There are, you don't have to be caught in that dental medical um, abyss, if you will, the abyss between the two, right? And like I felt like I was until I was like, nope, I'm stepping away and I'm learning my own. I'm learning on my own. Um, but I wanted to create something because I was getting asked so many questions. I didn't have time to answer them all. And I didn't have time to help all the people that were asking me questions. So I was like, wait, if I just put something together that they can all watch and all access, then they, then the, there we go. Then there's resources, right? So that's where the TMJ Strong course came about and the coaching that goes with it. If you're like, you know, I just need somebody to walk me through um, exactly what could be for me and kind of answer some questions. I'm no medical professional, but I have kind of become a, um, a, someone who knows a lot about this stuff because I dealt with it myself. So I hope that that is helpful for you. Um, I don't want that, that, uh, that thing, that main thing doctors miss that the, their lack of seeing that it's not a one size fits all. I don't want that to be a discouragement to you, but rather an encouragement to you to empower yourself to learn, to empower yourself to, to dig into information, to question what they tell you, to question the medical system and how it's set up, right? And not to say that we don't trust any of it. I don't to try not to throw the baby out with the bathwater, right? But to ask lots of questions and to dig for information because sometimes information is only shared based on what um, financial institutions want to share, right? So that's not always the case, but sometimes the, the most widespread information is based on money. And if you can dig a little more, you can find some of the actual helpful information that might help you or just different information, right? Information is widely available to us, but not widely sorted, not helpfully sorted sometimes. So that's partly why I made this, the course too, is because I wanted to sort information for people who need some clarity around that. All right. So 
Hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday. I'll catch you next week for more TMJ Tip Tuesdays, but I'll be back again tomorrow morning for my music teacher friends. Bye for now.